Today we're reading about communism versus capitalism, the ownership of means of production. Number one, what is this article about? Two, in general, what are means of production? Three, in communism, who should own all the resources? Four, what are wages like in communism? Five, what does capitalism believe in? Six, who gets a majority of the profits? Seven, every person in capitalism gets paid according to their. And eight, who makes the decisions in capitalism? Communism versus capitalism, ownership of means of production. The primary difference between capitalism and communism regard with who owns the means of production or resources in general. Communism shuns private individual ownership of land or any vital resources. Instead, all the means of production, like land and other resources, should be owned by the state. By state here, I mean the whole community of people. All land and resources which enable the production of goods and services will be owned by one and all. Everything will be shared. All decisions about production will be made by the whole community by democratic means. There will be equal wages for all. On the other hand, capitalism believes in private ownership of land and means of production. Every man will have to earn his worth. The major share of the profits earned from a business will go to the person who owns the means of production while the workers who are responsible for running the businesses will get a small share. Every man will get his wages according to his merit and according to the thinking of the man who owns the means of production. Naturally, the people who own the means of production, the capitalists, call the shots when it comes to making decisions. All right, you're going to answer those questions if you would, please.